What's up? What's going on, guys? Let's talk about P. Diddy. Man, there's a video floating around. I don't know if it's real, if it's out of context, or someone found the clip and posted it, if it's from years ago. But there's a clip of P. Diddy, and he's like holding a child, and he's reading a list of names. So if you don't know what's been going on with Diddy to make that seem scary as hell, apparently there's a lot of things that came out as alleged. People have been saying stuff about P. Diddy for years, right? For years. And the people that don't know have been taking it as jokes. Oh, y'all crazy. You're just roasting Diddy. He lose suspect. He do a little weird things, you know. He don't know how to say pause. But hey, yo. <laughs> he just say his suspect stuff like on a regular basis. Right? That's how a lot of people felt. They didn't realize that these jokes were not jokes. I knew a lot of stuff about Diddy for years. Why is it that every time someone leaves Diddy, and when it comes to this record label, the first thing they do is run to God. Mace, Craig Mack, plethora of people. They run to God. I'm talking about sprints. But what, what do you think they have seen for them to do that? Right? Look at the stuff that we've seen, right? I wish I could find footage of making the band. P. Diddy had an old school reality TV show called Making a Band, multiple seasons, multiple bands, when he was foul. The stuff he's making these people do was crazy. So imagine what he was making people do off camera or on camera. It's personal. But all these things that's alleged, like you got Jennifer Lopez, right? Like that, that whole situation with Jennifer Lopez and Shine. Right. Then you got a bunch of other stuff. People alleging things with Usher. Clips of Usher saying he would never let his children around P. Diddy. I think he was around Diddy since he was a child. He would on like tour with Diddy. Right. When he was a kid. Sounds crazy as hell. Um, but OK. All right. But yeah, all of this stuff and all the allegations and alleged things that people are accusing him of all at once. But yeah, the raid that happened recently. People keep saying FBI. That was not FBI. If I'm not mistaken, that was Homeland Security, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comment section. It wasn't the feds. Even though every YouTube title in, in existence said feds, probably because it seems more like, I guess, popping or catching when it comes to getting people to click on the damn video. So people was, you know, inclined to spread that misinformation. But anyway, I digress. There's a list. Maybe in the edited version of this video, I'll include that. But it has like music blast in the background. No one else has a clear copy which makes me question if this is real necessarily and when i say real i'm talking about timing it could have been something that was like years old and people are just putting it together now splicing it right um but you know take that as as what from that as you will right of what you think if it's official or not but let's talk about if it is if this video of p diddy and i'm gonna describe the video to you of him literally sitting there Sorry, loud ass train in the background if you heard that. Of uh, P. Diddy literally sitting there, right? He's holding a child. He's reading a list of names as like Biggie Smalls hypnotized me plays in the background. Crazy. Straight And he's like saying these list of names of celebrities. People are insinuating this is a list of names of celebrities that have done disgusting stuff with him. As in, he's about to sing like a canary. And let people know all the other people that was getting crazy. Y'all know what my opinion is. If this is true, sing. sing. You sing like a connect. You sing like Black Canary from DC comic books. We, we need you up in there with Huntress and I'm saying, okay. sing, let it be known. Leak the foot. Well, maybe don't leak the foot. Give the footage to the police. I don't want to see none of that. But put out as much as possible. The names he was saying, yeah, like Usher, Jennifer Lopez, Bam, Snoop Dogg, a lot of names. So if it's what we think so, pretty suspect. I do think Hollywood and the music industry have been doing foul and disgusting things for years. I kind of feel like I'm blessed but not having to deal with the industry, right? But not being around it. Hey, I'm telling you, like little small blessings. Like I was talking to a friend behind the scenes and I let them know, you know, I auditioned to be on Nickelodeon when I was a kid, right? Thank God I didn't get past the last round. Thank I used to be like, damn, man, if, if I was able to get past that last final audition, I would have been on there, man. My life would have been 
my life might have been hell, actually. The little hard things I went through in the Bronx is just, I guess, how, what's the word for it? It's not even worth mentioning when you think about the stuff that these people that dealt with Nickelodeon and Hollywood and the industry had to deal with as children. You know what I mean? So, dodge the metaphorical, uh, you know, pew pew with that one. And I'm happy for the life that the Lord blessed me with. As far as Diddy goes, it don't look good, but we'll see, right? Time will tell. I do think that people have a habit of once everyone starts saying nasty things about people, a lot of other people start spreading more false things and putting stuff on it. That's not me defending Diddy. That's me saying people might still be lying, even though it might be true. There might be other people lying. Like, look at Bill Cosby. You think every single thing you heard about Bill Cosby was true? No. It's that major thing that was disgusting that he does belong in jail for. That's a fact. Can't even argue that. Can't even argue that. But if you think that a lot of these chicks wasn't lying to just join the bandwagon, no one ever looks at the real stuff too as well. Like what about the R. Kelly situation? No parents came on the fire. No one wanted to look at, look at the parents. They were literally sacrificing their like kids. Just here you go. I have her R. Kelly. Take I still got that job, right? I can still play guitar in your in your band. Okay, yeah, yeah, have my little niece. Where are these people? Why are they not on trial? It's crazy. Now all oh, y'all know how weird he was, right? You didn't know how weird he was when you was working for him for years and you brought your damn relative, your child relative around? Nah. These niggas lying. Of course he was disgusting. But there's more that they not telling you. Is either more they not telling you or they putting some extra sauce on it. Some extra sauce. And you know how I feel about that because it can damage the whole thing. We don't want a boy who cried with the whole situation. No, no. We need to look at facts. So when it comes to P. Diddy, I'm waiting to get more information. I do think that there's a lot that he's done before the recent events. We could talk about like him throwing parties and like doing the thing over capacity and so someone passes away. We, we could talk about that or him screwing his artists for years and taking money from let's talk about that the factual things that we have concrete evidence of um as far as the other stuff i do think it's nasty the party parties that stuff he was throwing with cassie pretty disgusting now you settle out of court that's as good as a confession to me but we'll see thomas out